Okay, this is another area. This is below and behind the house. This used to be the road that I created to drive back here to haul rocks in and out and rubbish. You can see how erosion over here. There used to be a rug, an old rug, helped to keep the weeds down here. The rug is just totally washed away. I'm not even sure where the hell it's at. Here's another rug that was here and is slammed up against the side. See, the problem is my land is low and my neighbors are up high. And apparently, he got a lot of rain and the natural flow of the land is to bring it down. Gravity pulls it down. Look at his washout here. And this is the biggest mess right here. Look at this hole. This is where all that silt that's down below came from. This thing has to be six or seven feet long, about five feet wide, and probably five or six feet deep. Major mess. Look at all these rocks here. Hopefully I can use them to do something with. But the palms down below here seems to have survived. This was my Sagus Amara. It looks good. The base still looks nice and strong and solid. This was a newly planted area. My first uh, crop of plants back in January that I got from uh, Corabunda. This one's still doing okay. It survived. These are my uh, Sir Fritzy eyes or whatever they pronounce it. The Camadorias, they came out fine. This dude's laying over, but I'll stand that up okay. That's my uh, Cocotrinex crinita. And there's some more palms that just went in probably February and March. You can see how the water's still draining from the neighbor's land coming down. This was all really nice three days ago. Had a good coat coating of uh, compost all over the whole area. But I'm sure this will all survive. And as I continue on back, I look in the back, there's not much damage in the back at all, so I won't even go back there for now. So check out my stream. This will probably run for a couple of days until the mountains dry up. Don't you just love the sound of running water?